Before you import your footage, go into the project settings and make sure you have the correct frame rate. Edit different sections of your video in different timelines and then combine everything in a final edit timeline. Set a shortcut for append to selected clips. This way when you double click on a video in the media pool, you can simply press P and it will add it straight to your timeline. Remember, don't just click because it won't do it. Double click and it will import the file at the very end of your timeline. Always trim with shortcuts. Trim to beginning, trim to end, cut and ripple delete. Speed up clips, use the command R shortcut. Set the cursor to the end of the clip and when you see these arrows, when you move them closer to the beginning or further away, you would speed up the footage or slow it down. To make adjustments to the whole timeline in the color tab, here in the upper right, you should set it from clip to timeline. This way, when you add a note with shift S and make edits, you will see them in every single clip in the timeline. Remember, these are not your final edits, but it's a better way to edit when you have some idea of how the clip might look in the final edit. Later, you can always switch between timeline notes and clip notes. If you hear your video only in the left channel, pick one and just drag and drop, right click, clip attributes, audio instead of mono go to stereo in the channel track right click on embodied channel one and click ok just pick one and just drag and drop <laughs> to sync two video files highlight all the clips out to align clips based on waveform it will automatically align <laughs> If this video was helpful, please like, share, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.